everyone, so in a, another video of Crossroads Inn. I have now obtained enough money to pay off the rest of the loan, so if you see here we only had 525 left and so pay it back. And as you heard the chime there, we are now done. Pay your bank. Taking a loan from a bank feels good, blah blah blah. And this reward increases our reputation, as it says. Before I forget, there's a letter waiting for you. Seems to be from a fancy, high-class lady, given the smell of perfumes. Uh, hmm, alright, let me see it. Kind sir, the world in your veil travels as fast as it travels far and wide, and so it has come to my attention that you have opened a new inn in Crossroads. As I am always in favor of exploring the unknown, I would love to meet such a young entrepreneur as yourself. That being said, I do hope you have a chamber fit for accommodating a countess. Regards, King Owen's court lady, Countess Alyssa Devon. The some countess says she's heard about us and wants to stay here. Countess, you say? That's great news! I told you I told you a new inn is what we need. Which countess are we talking about exactly? Uh, King Owen's court lady, Countess Alyssa Devon. That's what the letter says anyway. Hmm, I've heard about her. Powerful woman with connections in the court. Also supposedly a lady of incredible beauty. But what would a noble like her want with us? It all seems a bit suspicious. And do you think there will be any danger? Uh, I think you might be overacting, Martin. So you can see here the various things of uh, risk and if I hold my mouse steady. <laughs> uh, but what exactly could she be wanting with us? If anything, deny her request would put us at more risk of making an enemy out of her. And so finally, luck is on her side, blah 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 blah. I think you'll be overacting, Martin. A visit with beauty countess will surely put her in the blah blah blah. We'll actually go with the wisdom one. And apparently it didn't do good. <laughs> Some such are just enough to treat you like a man or a boy. Do not be naive so easily trusting, especially when dealing with powerful people. The Countess Shirley has an ulterior, uh, Shirley has an ulterior motive, and we have to find out what it is. Do you think there will be any danger? It is not impossible, my boy. Your conflict with Rockbury affected other pe powerful people as well. Then again, a visit from a person of such high status would be beneficial for us. I think the best course of action for us right now would be to welcome the Countess's visit and try to figure out her motives. But do so, we need to have a private room for her. And so basically we need to make a private room and I'm kind of glad that I had this uh, the way I did. So I'm going to keep that as this. I'm actually going to put my staircase over here uh, because... Well, just makes sense. So I'm going to let my money accumulate a little bit. Uh, so I am actually going to take out a loan. Although that's probably a silly thing to do. But I am going to take out a loan and I'm just going to take out the max loan. Okay, that's good enough now to get the staircase down. Now to see which one looks nicer. So I wanted it like this, so. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. Now if we move back up, you can see the staircase is kind of screwed up, so move back to this in the empty room. I'll expand. Oops. See, I keep doing that. In order to build, you need to click on that first, and then there. And once again, I can't actually build there. Okay, moving back up, maybe I can build this. Okay, so that's now in place, and so as we mentioned before, there's the main hall, kitchen, storage, staff room, guest room, which is that down there now, and the private room, and also a game room. Well, the first private room that I'm going to add will be over in this area, and something I didn't realize at first in my own game, uh, because like I'm still stuck is that we or I only have one private room and I didn't realize that it's literally like one private room for one person. I, I wish these had names personally. That so now I just need to furnish this. And so the private room. So we do want the best bed that we have currently. Uh, mentioning that I should actually check to see build a chamber for the countess. Build a private room. Okay, so it doesn't actually tell us uh, what furnishing we need, but I will let this play just in case there is something that we need specifically for. 
Uh, maybe Martin will tell us something. Or if we build the private room, that means she comes right away. So we should probably furnish it. Uh, right, so... The bed will be here. And yes, this room is massive, but uh, whatever. And we'll add a desk. And a fancy stool. So if you look down here also, there's the tray. It's durable. This one's fragile, but is fancy. And this one is tidy, but it's also very fragile. And we'll go for the fancy one. And we'll also add the mirror and the chamber pot. We'll also add a table, actually, should we? Eh, no, we won't. We won't leave it like that for now. Uh, decorations wise, though. Definitely want to put one of these in here. And decorations. Probably want to stick with something that will attract the nobles. So there's also these banisters that you can place. Uh, I'm gonna place them now because it annoys me as heck when I can't place them. And there we go. We don't want to. We don't want anybody falling down the stairs. Uh, so basically, we're gonna be the style-wise of looking there. So I see we have mostly the, the distressed and the uh, rogues, but we see here the this. So can we actually place this in here? I've been having troubles trying to place this painting and I don't know if it's because it's landscaping painting two and I need one first to place this. I'm actually at kind of a loss as to why I can't place it. Uh, well, we'll just go for this and one of these, a couple of these for now. Okay, so that's that room. And if we look at this here, we'll see the guest room there and the private room is at two stars. That also makes sense as to why I could never adjust the room itself. It ain't much, but it ain't awful either. I think there's a chance the Countess might like it. It's time to reply to her letter and see what she wants with us. Reply to letter. Uh, King Lady, we must admit that your excellency the letter, though surprising, brought us a great deal of pleasure. Never had we hoped that someone of such status would notice our humble inn. That being said, we have prepared a private room for only for your excellency and eagerly await yours excellency's arrival. The crossroads in innkeepers. Send letter. I pass the letter on to one of the couriers. In the meantime, let's hope uh, try to gather as much information about the countess as we can. End conversation. Uh, eventually, I will also add a staff room up here. And probably also uh, something. So another thing that we're probably going to want to do is find a recipe. So if we see decorations here. Uh, well, we definitely want to get this. So I'm going to actually... Sure. I'll go with this one. Uh, we definitely want to get some recipes that are probably attracted to, uh, for noble people. That's travelers. And that's the rogues. So we need to find us some recipes that probably be favorable to nobility. And so we'll send my, my chefs out. You'll see them in a moment, uh, actually appearing. Or at least they should be. There we go. One thing to note, you'll mostly have to pay for these. As you can see, the local chef is not interested in sharing his knowledge with anyone, but your employee is not one to give up. He spends countless hours trying to get the chef's attention, persuading him, or just giving him no chance at all for a quiet moment. Eventually, the talented cook agrees to teach him how to prepare the meal. For a price, of course. And the uh, whatever that is, fast. Recipe for 200 goldens. Pay to learn recipe. The cook finally agrees and your employee begins the journey. Back to the inn. You lost 200 goldens. But we now have that recipe. 
I also have to remember to keep track of that, and I think I'm missing something down there. Uh, the local chef is not interesting, blah blah blah. You lose that, so now we have cranberries as well. So if we look here, we have those down here. Cranberries, psyched by the travelers. Unless we have everything, so I might as well add that as well. And I apparently... Uh, Alyssa's here. Uh, greeting, innkeeper. I'm Countess Alyssa Devon. I see the creator keeps you in good health, which sadly cannot be said about your inn. I must admit I was expecting more. But at least the surroundings were rather lovely. I assume my room has been prepared? Uh, your room has been prepared, Countless. Welcome, Countless. The people far and wide tell tales of your beauty, yet they are not uh, nothing compared to the goddess I, that I see before me. You are already tired of your games, Countless. Tell me why you're here. <laughs> yeah, that's real dipl diplomatic. Uh, I'll try with that. And apparently that went fairly. What a lovely compliment. Bra bravo and thank you, Innkeeper. I think there's no denying the simple words can hardly start describing my beauty. I do hope you are as good with keeping your guests satisfied as you are with complaint uh, com compliments. <sighs> Such skills is bound to benefit both of you, both you and your inn. And your room has been prepared countless. I do hope I find it suitable. For now, I need to rest. We'll speak later, Innkeeper. And conversation. And rent. And so this one. And ta da! Apparently, we just needed a bed in there. And apparently, she's gonna walk over there and then up. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I actually need to furnish. Uh, let's move up a level. I didn't add any lights. Uh, we'll add this here. And one here. And we don't need to uh, worry about the hallway for now. I am going to add a window though. And I'm not going to worry about this part because it's not going to be windowed. But I will add one there as well. Right to there. And with that. We will continue. Actually, we should keep that on normal speed. Innkeeper, I see the room is ready. Indeed, your majesty. How do you like it? It's functional. Yes, I imagine it could be worse. Uh, maybe there's something specific you're desiring, Countess? Maybe something from my beloved Sambria? A decoration of sorts reminds, reminding me of the beauty of the South. Would you mind getting me something like that, dear? And... Where could I find such a decoration? Or I'm on it. Kind lady, dare you say there's already in this most beautiful blah 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 blah. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna work very well. Well, I mean, we could, but... Well, we might as well be inquisitive. I would suggest looking for it in Riscoda? Ricoda? Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, the beautiful red city just to the south of here. It's the biggest Umbria and uh, settlement so close to the Yorville border. Which is probably that carpet, now that I think of it. So that's probably a good smart idea. <laughs> kind lady, I dare say we might as well go with that too. And yep, that failed. I shouldn't have bothered. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so if we go back to the map that was here, as I suggested. And I guess I can just get that if I was actually thinking... And I should also do that just because I can. Uh, apparently can't get any further than that, but... We do have the town crier going there. Uh, so we see here, create a new trade route. We can either pay 500 or... Use 20 of those. Well, I'm actually going to just pay 500 because it's cheap enough. So that also has us unlock these. And... Some of these other places as well. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm actually gonna look at the recipes again. Apparently we can get that, so I'm gonna send one of my cooks. And we also have these other ones as well. Uh, I might as well try for that one as well. Uh, I can't remember which one I sent where. Apparently that one's different than that one. Hmm. I thought it was the same. Uh, hello? Hello, innkeeper. My name is Milian. Milan? 
and I speak for the couriers. You've, uh, you've learned that none other than the blasted viper, Elisa Devon, is staying here in your inn. Is that true? Tell me who. Tell me what. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Tell me what she is to you, for I fear you might not know who you are dealing with. Uh, couriers. Hi, the couriers, the griffin riding folk from the northern mountains of Yorville, carrying messages all across Del Cries. Surely you've heard of us, and if not, well, now you have, haven't you? Now tell me what's your relationship with Countess Devon? Uh, I don't trust her, but then blah 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 blah. My inn is open to all, it's none of your business, or my Countess is my guest, same as you. You've been you've been dealing with that viper Devon for some time now, and let me tell you this: do not underestimate her. Been dealing with her? The political status of the couriers has never been stable. The late King Owen treated us well and respected our autonomy, uh, autonomy. But never, or, but ever since his death, many nobles have been gaining more and more influence, and some of them quite openly proclaim they will make, take our griffins and treat them away from us. And what's all that got to do with Countess? It's, I've had a long day, Lady Milan. Please give me some time to think about this. Uh, as a political figure and supporter of powerful nobles, she too wishes for the couriers to give up their griffins. But we are and always will be free folk and keepers, so you can imagine how we would feel about you working with that viper. The Countess does seem like a powerful and dangerous woman indeed, or you should not concern yourself with whom I walk underneath my roof. Uh... So I'm gonna guess this is gonna give us a big impact, and uh, well, we might as well go with that because it's not untruthful. I do not know what your goal is, uh, goal in all this, Innkeeper, but tread lightly that you have entered a dangerous world, and if you've ever decided to leave, fight the last Viper, we could and could help each other. Okay. Uh, whatever. Uh, so we keep getting a bunch of chimes. Is something happening? Take care of the- oh, place the rug in the countess's room. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so move up a floor. See if I can furnish this. Do I have the rug yet? I do indeed. Plop. Yes, because I just placing it in the middle of the room. Whatever. Oh, the color, the quality of the material, beautiful, surely a handiwork of the Sambrian master, probably from Ragosa. You can tell by the gold so subtly embedded into it. Oh, I, you've made my hap bleh, made me happy, innkeeper. Thank you. Now the room is perfect. Uh, you need anything else? Can I leave now? Are all the ladies in Sambria so... I've heard so much about Sambria, the beaches, the culture, and the women, so... Nope. We'll go with that. I got hungry from all this talk. Could you tell the cook to prepare me something to eat? Something local. A Yorville delicacy, perhaps. Or maybe something from Untermarch. We are so very close to the border, after all. Where can I find a recipe for something like that? Well, that depends. What would you like to prepare for me, dear innkeeper? We're close to the border, but it's still Yorville. Something local. Or we're so close to the border, let's try some traditional un uh, Untermarch. And we'll go with this. Splendid! Send your cook to the west, to Dutrol. I've heard it's finally getting back its position on the economic old map of Yorville after its destruction during the Great Fire. Surely your cook will find an intriguing recipe there. And a conversation. And back to the map. Apparently this is what we're supposed to get, so we'll send Howl there. And I might as well send... Uh, oh, our well's out there. Apparently, he's only free now. <laughs> uh, the local chef is not interested in sharing, pay to learn, and conversation. But I do have to remember that I have a loan that I have to pay back, so I don't want to overspend everything. The local chef, pay to learn the recipe, and conversation. And for the record, all of this stuff is new. Serve the Countess a regional dish. Well, there we go. Finally arrived there. The local chef is not interested in sharing his knowledge. Pay to learn the recipe. And so we got the uh, local recipe apparently required. So that's the moss dumplings here. And so we need garlic, flour, potatoes, and greens. So if we go back to the map. 
And the greens, I guess, can be found here. Uh, innkeeper, where's my food? How much longer do you expect me to wait? Unfortunately, some of the ingredients are really hard to come by. Oh, apologies, kind uh, countess, but worry not. You're in good hands. Your meal will be ready in no time. Our cook is finishing your meal as we speak. Silence, we're working here. The food will be served when it's ready and not a second sooner. Uh, we'll go with the... Actually, kind of curious to see if... Yeah, no, we'll definitely... Uh... Such impertinence. I've been waiting for all too long. It'd be probably faster if you grew the ingredients except yourself. Excuse me? You've heard me. If you can't get the proper ingredients, you better go and grow them yourself. I did not come all this way here to try some local food. Er, I did- okay. And I sure am not leaving without it. Oh, I did not come all the way here not to try some local food. Okay, now that makes more sense. <laughs> And apparently the garden patch is, uh, unlocked. Uh, so that's that. Where are we gonna put the garden patch? We'll put that over here, I guess. Do we need more than one? I don't know. We'll place three for now. Uh, I have no idea what that entails. We also have better washing dishes as well. Uh, where is that anyway? Oh, there it is. Uh, we're actually gonna place... Do we want to spend that kind of money? A nice, elegant, and an affordable wash tub. Uh, sure, because it's speedy, it's quick, and... Apparently it's filthy in there. Where's my staff? What's my staff doing? Mentioning staff, I should probably hire something. And what's this? Who? who? For you. Click. Hello there, innkeeper. May all the monsters scatter and hide and all the bandits die for fright, for I, Two Fish Elastro, have arrived. As I am currently on a glorious quest, I may not linger here for too long. Alas, my companions told me that a beautiful. Uh, told me that beautiful, alas, is staying here in your inn. I think that's a grammatical error. <laughs> and so see her hi hat too, as well as offer her the humble services of the knight's errant. The knight's errant? Kind innkeeper, don't tell me you've never heard of our order, wherein all the bravest warriors of Delcrys are joined together in their thirst for honor and glory. If there's a poor soul needing help, you may be sure that the knights errant are already on their way to save it. And if that poor soul be a beautiful lady, the knights errant will be there even sooner. Of course you would. You must be talking about the Countess Alyssa Devon, noble knight. There's a certain Countess staying with us tonight, but I sadly, I doubt there she'd want anything to do with you, sir. Uh, out of here, you tramp. Don't dare bother the Countess. <laughs> uh, we'll just go with that. Uh, Countess, you say? Even better. Take me to her kind innkeeper so that I may introduce myself and offer her my services. Uh... Oh, I don't think we should. Not to worry, innkeeper. The important thing is that you two let blah, 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 blah. Well, let's just hope this day never comes for a variety of reasons. <laughs> Uh, so let's see here. Uh, cultivate potatoes and how do we do that? Uh, water, fertilize, plant. Water. 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 Uh, sure, we fertilize it. We can't probably. Plant. And plant. Potatoes. I don't think I clicked that twice. There we go. Oh, right. I should probably hire someone who's actually going to do that. That reminds me, I should also be able to have, unlock some of these as well. I have four points. What do I want to unlock? Uh, unlocks bards. Bards stay in private rooms. Increases number of workers looking for a job. Unlocks carrots. Unlocks onions. I might as well do those since I have the plots now. Uh, unlock cereals in the garden, unlocks a kern for allowance for flour, dugouts for storing ice, workers get tired more slowly, flies will travel 50% faster. Okay, that's what I have for now. For whatever reason that's showing progress, I guess that's telling me when the potatoes are ready. 
Uh, so what else do we need for that recipe, the moss dumplings? We need greens, flour, and garlic. So I'll try to acquire those as I was doing before Miss Countess interrupted us. Uh, so the greens are available here and it doesn't look like there's anywhere else, at least not available to me. So this is probably the cheapest place as well. Uh, I'm sure we'll go with that for now. Oh, I should have added protection. Dang it. Uh, what else did it say? Garlic? What about here? Garlic? Well, sure, we'll go with that. We'll add protection this time. And flour. And now come to that, I should also be paying attention to my other ingredients, because I apparently need more. There we go, I just ordered a whole host of things. I think that's enough for that, plus one of the other recipes that I have. I should also add a staff room uh, while I can. I will place, it doesn't have to be too big, but I'll place that over here. And I don't have enough gold. And to the map I go. This is probably foolish, but I'm making decent enough money that I'm not too concerned about making back the money. I've been told it's probably- well, I've not been told. I've read on somewhere that it's probably not a good idea to place beds in here until you actually have- uh, actually have- sorry, lost my thought. You shouldn't add beds into the staff room until you have the shift things, I think it is. We'll add some decorations in here. Okay, that's good enough for now. So as you can see, I have a whole, a whole host of things out there. I have a whole bunch of new staff, which was kind of silly probably to do. I'm also going to go back to the map and pay off some of this. And... We'll hang on to that for now. So we have about 30,000 to pay back. Uh, but we also see right away that we have enough... Well, we'll have the potatoes soon enough, but we have the flour, the garlic, and stuff now as well. Uh, I have eggs also there, so I'll get that added soon enough as well. I should add more storage, however. Yeah, it looks like we finally got potatoes. So I'll be able to add those right away to the menu. I'll go ahead and do that right now, because I'm a cheap little bugger. Make that worth 90. And I'm gonna crank this up a little bit as well. Oh dear innkeeper, I see you've managed to get those potatoes. Shame it took so long, I'm no longer hungry. All oh, muffin. Besides, Duchess Holt and Baroness Meal are such blabbermouths. Tomorrow the whole of Yorville would be talking about my figure, and not in a good way. I'm pretty sure you could eat. So what's so what? The more of a woman the better. Uh fifty-five, forty-five. Fifty-five, forty-five. Uh, good food doesn't fatten up. Dig in. Oh dear lady, this is the slight, uh, lightest dish that, uh, whatever. Uh, deception. Passion. Or intimi intimidation. We'll go with that. Yay! <laughs> ha! You sound just like my late husband, Count Devon. Such a frivolous attitude to life sure is refreshing. After all, the time spent at the royal court. Will that be all? I'm bored. Go and find me a bard. Uh... Right away, your excellency. That will be over now. So, bards. Which means we need another private room. Uh, but we'll leave that for some other times. Yeah. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching!